One. Hey, it's Heather Davis, 94.7 QDR, and we are here with Megan from the Wake County Animal Center, and Bean, who is a very sweet boy. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's going to flop. He's like, this is best day. He's going to He's going to lay here and say, hi, look at that. <laughs> Well, this is Bean. Bean is a five-ish year old kind of pity houndy mix. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, actually, at the at the animal center, we have him listed as like medium to high energy. Mm -hmm. But the entire time that he's been out on this little adventure with me, he has been a great rider in the car. He mm -hmm. jumped right in the back seat. Didn't give me any problems. No whining. No trying to climb in the front seat with me. Um, we were, you know, in traffic for a bit, and he just sat in the back, just chilling, Hanging watching out. out the window. Yeah, um, he walked great on a leash. He seems to have some pretty good leash manners. Um, I believe he came in as a stray, so we don't know a ton about him. Mm -hmm. But he's got some pretty good leash manners. He knows how to sit. Um, he knows how to lie down. I believe I was told he knows shake, but when I tried it earlier, I think he was just excited because he was here. Yeah, he didn't. Can you do it now? Can he shake? He said, no, I'm going to do kisses. I'm going to hand it up for the camera. <laughs> About but how much does he weigh? About 55 pounds. So good size. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, and this, and he's full grown, so yes. he's not getting any bigger. He may fill out a little bit more if you, you know, feed him <laughs> But yeah, great. 55 pounds is a great, this actually is the size that I have for my puppy. And, that, and that's mine too. He's, it's great for an apartment. It's great for a house. Mm -hmm. um, he's definitely a sweet boy. Yeah, I feel um, like he's the type of dog that you can really like, go places with and have fun with and you don't have to worry about like you know hurting him if you mm -hmm. play too rough or yeah. you know he's he's very go with the flow very durable <laughs> <laughs> he's a very durable man so now you said we don't know a lot about him what do we think for mm -hmm. a house for him when it comes to children and other pets and that kind of thing yeah um, have we tested him with cats or dogs or mm -hmm. so for cats we haven't had a chance to catch him uh, test him with cats mm -hmm. we don't typically test with cats yeah. it's just That's more fun. that sometimes there can be some feral cats <laughs> hanging around outside and if the dogs happen to walk by and have you know them. they just kind of leave them alone then mm -hmm. they might do well in a house with cats for him I don't Gosh. know he likes to play fetch and he likes to do you know a lot of running around so oh, yeah that could be hit or miss with cats uh, with other dogs we've had him in a couple different play groups and he has played with both male and female dogs and has done well with both nice. um, male and female dogs oh. um, he doesn't seem to be um, too like intense when he plays mm -hmm. he seems to just yeah. be an all-around good boy he likes to flop around and wrestle and yeah. chase he's you know, he's just very much like, hey, you want to play with me? Cool, let's play. <laughs> so he has met both male and female dogs um, in play groups and has done well. Awesome. Um, with kids, I don't really know because he is a really just, like I said, he rode great in the car. He does yeah. great on the leash. But I noticed, you know, going through doorways, he was a little apprehensive. He kind of put his uh -huh. head down, going on the elevator, things that were brand new experiences. He was a little apprehensive. Uh -huh. So... Um, you know, with children, he could just be like, hey, yeah, let's go. Or he could be a little apprehensive. I think, I think, it could I think because way. of his size, 55 pounds, and mm -hmm. solid. He's solid oh, he's for sure. Solid. You know, maybe six or seven, I think, would be a little a little older baby child. Not not mm -hmm. maybe, maybe, but. Yeah, I anyone think, that he uh, could knock over, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they'd be very He's looking at handling just fine, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. like, he okay, I'll turn this way. Whatever. Mm -hmm. That's or, fine. Um, for massages, he loved getting his massage on Sunday. We have a couple of uh, canine massage therapists that come to the animal center and do massages. Oh my gosh, you mm -hmm. got a masseuse? Yeah. You got a massage on because Sunday? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Best day yeah. ever. We gave him a tug time. rope and he just laid there and chewed on his tug rope and, and uh, got some, you know, massage time in. And the volunteers have reported that he really likes just belly rubs and, you know. I mean, obviously. You guys have already experienced I mean, Come it. on. <laughs> He's definitely it. for sure all about it. Uh, yeah. What do you guys have going on at the Wake County Animal Center? Now you guys, I mean, obviously you're here, so we're excited back mm -hmm. in person. Yeah. Uh, you guys are adopting in person again or no? We are. So right now um, we are open our normal hours every day, noon to six for adoptions. Mm -hmm. And um, we do have to, you know, wear masks while you're there right now because it, you know, uh, that's the mandate yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, but uh, there's really no other limitations besides um, just wearing the mask, social distancing. But you can show up anytime noon to six mm -hmm. uh, to adopt. You can look at Bean. You can look at any of the other animals that we have on our adoption floor. 
We are part of the Clear the Shelters event that's going on right now, mm -hmm. um, but um, right now it's more of an awareness event. We don't have any promotions going on mm -hmm. currently, but we might have something up our sleeve for, okay. for later on. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, we'll make sure to put all that information below as well as Bean's info too, and we appreciate you guys coming over. Yeah, definitely. Um, Sweet boy. One last thing about Bean, probably the only negative thing on the list for Bean um, is that he is heartworm positive, Aww. but he does have a sponsorship from the Friends of Wake County Animal Center, Aww. which is kind of a sister organization. They're a nonprofit, 501c3, mm -hmm. um, that helps out with sponsorship for the dogs at the center that are heartworm positive. If they've mm -hmm. been there for a while, they've been overlooked. So he does have a $350 heartworm sponsorship so if someone adopts him and they go through the heartworm treatment they can reach out to the friends of wake county animal center and um you know look at what they've got to do to kind of get that sponsorship and, and help with the payment for the heartworm treatment and that is something that is curable it yes. is yeah mm -hmm. so heartworm is curable it's not this is not a death sentence so that's something where he can be he'll be even more spunky after he gets his heartworm treatment right oh, oh, <laughs> You we'll know. post all those pictures below, and thanks so much yes. for watching. <laughs> Bye, guys.